Now we're on to a little solo wahoo fishing. I'm slow trolling here off Key Largo. Now in the course that I have going on right now, it's um, the late spring wahoo course at Dolphin. Uh, I'm gonna show the guys that are involved with the course the exact trolling pattern that I caught them on. They, they get the, um, the screenshot, they get all the information about this trip, which is cool. So as you guys know, wahoo are very territorial and they come back every year to the same spot. So the guys will have this track that they can check. But um, anyhow, so I got this one on, got him on a bait strip. I totally forgot to bring in the other line. <laughs> and I didn't clear out those back rods like they told you to do in all those tutorials. <laughs> oh boy. Listen, I gotta tell you guys, man, it's like, just go fish. I'm by myself. I, I, I enjoy just being out there, having a good time. And if you go out there and relax, I usually catch them, I usually do. So, as you can see from my videos, I have caught a lot of fish by myself. I just, I do because I'm relaxed, I go out, I'm able to just enjoy the day. So, uh, and we catch them on the fish charters too. So, but um, anyhow, so as you guys can see, I got that downrigger slinging back and forth there, that weight, I didn't bring it up all the way like I should have. My bad. So what I did was I slowed the boat down. I was probably trolling in about, I was slow trolling. I think I was cross current 10 miles an hour or something like that. I have no clue how deep that down here gets with that. I think I've hit it down there probably about a good 15 to 20 feet. So bringing him up, he's gonna um, run across my engine now. This is where most of these YouTubers cut out everything. <laughs> so, but I'll show you the chaos. He's gonna come up here, and then I'm gonna try to give the comeback. I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. So, but I've done this no, no. hundreds of times. So, I'm just gonna trick is just stay calm, walk over. If you think I'm tall, I can lift up. You know, I can lift the rod up over the that other gas and. Now I gotta get this other rod out of the way. This is total chaos. So, and of course, you know, I left it out. So I got really lucky and I didn't paint it. <laughs> so, oh boy. I'm gonna bring up the fish here pretty soon. Here, there he comes. So I just grabbed, I like to grab the lightest gap I can by myself. And then I'm gonna do it one handed. And I highly suggest that you guys practice this a lot before you try this. This is not as easy as I make it look. Um, hitting good. Got now I'm going to yell at the camera. I don't know why I do that. I try it not to do that anymore because it's, I get annoyed at myself for doing that. <laughs> to be honest with you, so I'm working on that. See where it's like eight hooks? <laughs> Or I got him on the Sea Works hooks available at Chris's Bait and Tackle. Bait strips, baby! And uh, old Freddie Collins, blue and white. That one kicked my ass. No wire. Try my rig here. Skirts available at tackle shop. You can. That has been an awesome the skirt, the guys. An YouTube awesome channel. skirt. I highly suggest you. Um, it's it for even for you high speed guys, you get a hold of it. Here. I don't have much battery. Uh, we have that size skirt at the Tap Day Creek. I believe you can purchase the larger ones on squidskirts.com, but it's a badass skirt. Nice one. I think that's like my third wahoo on that, that skirt. Now I can go home. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. All done for the day. You're tired, I'm ready to go home and clean some fish, and you know, we enjoyed this dinner.
So, uh, thank you guys for watching. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. Sign up for the Spring of Wahoo course. I can show you how easy it is to catch these fish on a consistent basis. Thank you, guys.